Good morning to one and all. Today our topic is antibiotics. Myself, I am Shanpriya from Kesa College of Earth and Science, Department of Microbiology. What is an antibiotic? Antibiotics are substances that are obtained from a microorganism which kill or other microorganisms. Antibiotic that will be kill the microorganisms and kill the other microorganisms also. Antibiotic terms, anti means against, biotic means life. Anti means it will be against, it can pro uh, product and biotic means it will be a life, day to day life. Antibiotic substance derived from a microorganisms or produced synthetically. For example, sulfonamide that kill or suppress the growth of other microorganism. Next, antibiotic definition. First of all, antibiotic is a an chemical substance that produced by microorganism or which prevent the growth of other microorganism or kill the other microorganism. Antibiotic means it is an, a chemical substance that uh, in one way it will be produced or another way it will be prevent or kill the microorganism. Next point, these are the natural substance and these also referred as the antibacterial medicines. In antibiotic, they can produce as the medicines like antibacterial, antimicrobial. These are the medicine used to treat the various bacterial infection. These antibiotic we can uh, treating for more infection diseases like uh, next classification of antibiotics. Antibiotics are several classified. Uh, here we discuss about three classification, mechanism of action, spectrum of activity, mode of action. First of all, mechanism of action, cell wall synthesis, mechanism of action of antimicrobial agents. First, first one is a cell wall synthesis inhibitor. This cell wall synthesis means cell will be survived within the cell wall. Cell wall synthesis totally three component like cell wall and the inner layer will be a cytoplasm and center it will be present nucleus. These three component it will be make it as a cell wall. For example, beta lactam antibiotic like penicillin, vancomycin, monobactam and silosporin. Next one is the cell membrane inhibitor. This cell membrane inhibitor that that cell will be that cell will be kill the permeable membrane and the cell membrane will be incubated. For example, amphotericin B and aerocrystin. Next one is the protein synthesis incubator. First one is a protein means it is a essential compound. It is a fat and carbohydrate. For example, aminoglycoside and tetracycline, chlorophenicol, leozidin, slintomycin, strepto. Gamosin. These are the antibiotics. Next one is in a mechanism of actions of antibiotic. It's the same. DNA synthesis incubator. DNA is it is a genetic material that double strand nucleus. Double strand nucleus. It will be clave and it will be synthesis. For example, fluoro fluoroquinols. This antibiotic will be product to them. Metabolic pathway inhibitor. This metabolic pathway inhibitor. It will be process. Like the enzymes, it will be processed and inhibit. For example, sulfonamide. Next one is the nucleic acid synthesis inhibitor. For example, inhibiting DNA gyrase and topoisomers for and cunolysin antibiotic. And inhibiting photosynthesis is a sulfonthiazole. These antibiotics will be used in the nucleic acid synthesis inhibitor. These are the image of nucleic acid synthesis and protein synthesis and cell wall synthesis. This dark outline will be a cell wall. This thin line will be a cell membrane. Next center will be nucleus will be present in that. Nucleic acid synthesis will be three divisions. RNA polymerase, DNA gyrase and floatate synthesis. These are the antibiotics, sulfonamide and triomethoprazine. These are the antibiotic will be synthesis the nucleic acid. Next protein synthesis. Protein will be two types. One point will be a 15 as subunit. Another one is a 13 as subunit. First 15 as subunit totally 5 antibiotics will be synthesis the protein.
proton synthesis. Next, third in a subunit will be tetracycline and aminoglycoside. These two antibiotics will be synthesis the proton synthesis. Next one is in cell membrane. This, the, this thinny line will be a cell membrane. This is the image of the uh, cell membrane, cell wall synthesis and uh, nucleic acid synthesis and proton synthesis. Next, spectrum of antibiotics. These spectrum of antibiotics totally two types. First one is the broad spectrum and next one is the narrow spectrum. First, broad spectrum. It is the particular thing that only it can uh, treated. First, the antibiotic which act against wide range of microorganisms. This means it is a particular thing only it will be kill the bacteria. Next, tetracycline for example and the chlorophenicol. Next one is the narrow spectrum. Narrow spectrum, these antibiotic are useful for against limited microorganisms. Sorry, broad spectrum means it can uh, kill about the more microorganisms. Narrow spectrum means it is a particular. Broad means it is a more, uh, narrow means it is a particular. These antibiotics are useful against limited microorganisms, only particular microorganisms it can kill. For example, erythromycin. Next one is then a mode of action. First of all, mode of action we can classify it into two types. Bacteriostatic and bacteriocidal. Bacteriostatic means static means it can inhibiting the growth. Next one, cedal means it can killing or damaging the growth of microorganisms or bacteria. Bacteriostatic, first of all, these antibiotics inhibiting the growth and multiplications of bacteria. For example, tetracycline, chlorophenicol, sulfonamide, erythromycin, and slendomycin. These are the gram positive bacteria antibiotic. Uh, this static mean it can inhabiting the growth of bacteria. Next one is the bacteria seedal. Seedal means it can killing or damaging the bacteria or microorganism. These antibiotic destroying or killing all the bacteria in the process of multiplications. For example, penicillin, aminoglycoside, cephalosporin and fluoroconical exam etc. Tetracycline. Next one is the tetracycline. Tetracycline may be effective against the wine varieties of microorganisms like Echia and amoebic parasite. Tetracyclines are used in the treatment of infection, respiratory tract, sinus, urinary tract, skin, ear and intestine. These are the infections, these are the diseases we can treating this tetracycline. Cycline antibiotic. Next, tetracycline also used to treat gonorrhea and rocky mountain spotted fever and typhus. Tetracycline side effect, crapping or burning of the stomach, diarrhea, sore mouth or tongue, skin photosensitive and allergic reaction. Penicillin, these are the antibiotic. Penicillin it is an gram negative antibiotic. Penicillin are the oldest classes of antibiotic. Penicillin have a common chemical structure which they share with the cephalosporin. Penicillins are generally bacteriocidal. Cedal means it will be killing or damaging the microorganism. Penicillin is more effective for killing and damaging. Inhabiting formations of the cell wall. Penicillins are used to treat skin infection, dental infection, ear infection, respiratory tract infection and urinary infections and gonorrhea. Penicillium side effect. What are the side effect in penicillium? Diarrhea, nausea, warm beating and upsetting of the stomach. Rare cases penicillium can cause immediate or delighted allergic reactions. Today we discuss about antibiotic and the definitions of antibiotic and what are the classifications of antibiotic, what are the types present in that, uh, what are the drugs and uh, what is kind of side effect and the preventions we can discuss in this class. Next class we discussed another topic.